Hello and welcome to another Visual Basic tutorial with Helper1997. Now last time I showed you how to do collision detection with our labels of shots and our picture boxes of our invaders. Now this time I'm going to be showing you what to do to restart the level because if I just kill all of our aliens here you can clearly see nothing's happened because we haven't told the program what to do. So, now for starters, we want to bring, um, bring this label up, but we can change this label to say, instead of you died, level whatever completed. But first we need to tell the program to recognize that the user or the player has actually completed the level. So, to do this, we can create a new variable. So, if we just come down here, dim complete as integer. And now, what we can do is every time that the player kills one of the invaders we can do complete equals complete plus one so come down here to our subroutine of them hitting an invader we can do complete equals complete uh, plus one now we can just copy and paste this little piece of code into each of our subroutines for our labels hitting the invaders. Now this obviously will just count up on this variable. Now in this one we've only got 12 invaders so if we come down to um, our my sub reason, we can create a new sub private sub and call this one level complete and just hit enter so we get the private sub. Now for each of the shot hit we can type in if complete equals the number of invaders we have so in this case it will be 12 if complete equals 12 then level complete and there it will just come down to this subroutine so once again we can just copy and paste this code into each of our subroutines however one thing you ha will have to be wary of is that you put this in the right place for one thing that a uh, mistake I used to do is I didn't particularly care where I put this so long as it was in the right subroutine however if we were to put this piece of code below this then when it shot our final invader obviously complete would be equal to 12 so it wouldn't do a level complete and then it would do complete equals complete plus 1 so obviously complete would be equal to 12 but it would have already passed this bit of code so it wouldn't go to this subroutine so you must watch where you are actually putting these pieces of code I've got a feeling I may have spelt complete wrong but Oh well. Now, before we do anything else, one of the things we'll want to do is we will want to move our aliens back to their starting location for the new level. So, for that, we can create a new array. So, dim alien, in fact, not because we've already got one called aliens, call this one dim locations. 11 as picture box so we've got this new array array 
and so if we come to oh it's because I've got it all up at once if we come to my subs we've got our public subs so starting sub and create array so it here it is fill our first ray so here we should be able to create a for next loop for i equals 0 to 11 and we should be able to do locations i dot sorry about that a small bug there um also i realized i made a bit of a problem um can't store this array as p box because we're not storing the picture boxes in the array we're storing the location of the picture boxes so we want to put system dot drawing dot um oh i've forgotten i'll come up with the error message if i type in picture box it's not been my day as you might have gathered if you were watching my minecraft series um so if we do so we want instead of being picture box we want to change this because we're not storing the picture boxes in the array we're storing the location of the picture boxes so we want them to put dim locations 11 as system dot drawing dot point so the, and this is basically storing the location of the x and y coordinates which is basically where it is so now if we do locations i equals aliens i dot location now i put a comma there not a dot there we go so what this is doing is we've already created our other array the aliens to store the picture boxes in our array so what this little piece of code is doing is it's getting our second array called locations and it's basically taking the corresponding coordinates of each picture box so for alien zero we get location zero and location zero calls upon the picture box alien zero and t makes the variable location zero equal to the location of alien zero and then it'll do the same for alien one aliens two so all it is doing is calling upon the location of the picture box that is the same picture your box as the location now I'm getting confused in here all this is doing is calling upon the location of each picture box and then storing it in this array so this means when we finish our level we'll be able to call upon our locations array to put them back to the start of our um, parent form so now that we have that We've all we've already done the level complete. So what we want to do is we will want to stop our comp timer for a sec. In fact, we don't need to stop it, I'm being a little daft. But we do want to be able to show the player what level they're playing. So if we create a new variable dim level as integer and basically make it equal to one to show level one so if we come back on our form obviously we've got all this space to show so if we stick it up in the top right toolbox just get a label and change the color of the text to white and typing level one to show there's the first level let's just change 
the font of the thing come on there we go so go modern bold go pro instead of eight make it a little bit more visible now if we come to the code we can do when it comes down to level complete we can do level equals level plus one and then we can do I forgot to change the name of the label so we can change the name of the label to level show go back into a code we do level show dot text equals level and level so all this little piece of that code is doing is every time we complete a level it adds one to variable level and then on the label level it is showing what level they are playing on again I think I'm swearing it wrong but yeah, I don't know it's just not my day today <laughs> I keep saying that now obviously all that's doing at the moment is changing the level of the thing we want to actually move these back to the start location so if we come back to here we can do a for next loop for i equals 0 to 11 and then we just want to do aliens i dot location equals locations i and now all this is doing it's going through our array of our picture boxes and is changing the location to all the locations stored in our second array so now if we play our game and when it builds it start game just quickly complete it two to go oh, God. I'm not as good at playing Space Invaders as I am at making the thing come on right one last one to go there we go so it's now moved them all back to the top and in the top right is now saying level 2 however of course we also want to be able to show a score for our player so again that is very easy we just create a new variable dim score as integer we come up here we just get a second label we can stick it underneath level again just change the color of the font to white change the text font to modern bold and make it slightly bigger text score zero and that's why is that actually slightly different that is slightly irritating not that it matters for the actual gameplay that's just me being picky but whatever the case oh it's probably because that's in capitals however have it in the top left does mean ah it doesn't matter anyway so we come into our code now once again we want to come down to if our shots hit so la obviously this piece of code isn't as important as the rest of them because like these points of code actually affect the gameplay we just want to show the score as the last thing so we just do score equals score plus one and we can just copy and paste that bit of code again and then the last one so all that is doing is 
changing the label or actually no it's just changing the variable at the moment we want to change the label here to actually show a score so once again we've got to change it the name of it to score label and we can just do in the subroutines we just want to do score label dot text equals score in fact let's make it capitals look better and score and once again we can just copy and paste this bit of code into the rest of the subroutines that would be three four and five so now if we run our program again start game now we can actually see score it has suddenly changed the label because uh, I made it say capitals in the code whereas at the start it's not so but other than that this is working perfectly now I have just realized one small problem to do the level complete thing we have told it to say if complete equals 12 which is fine however we need to reset complete to zero complete equals zero because otherwise when we get to level two and we kill one of the aliens it's going to do complete equals complete plus one which is going to be 13 then 14 then 15 and so on but that means it's never going to be 12 again so it would only ever go up to level two so now with this code the player should be able to play an infinitely long game so start game and we can just kill all the invaders hopefully this will get us to level two. Oh come on <laughs> yeah level two and our scores going up and hopefully we should be able to do level three there we go we're on level three so this has been oh god wait, never mind so next time i'll probably show how to uh i think i'll show how to get the invaders to drop their own shot actually just like uh, other versions of space invaders but for now this has been hellfire 1997 and i'll see you later